Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Indy 500 project. Today's experiment, Breath of Death 7, The Beginning. Which is part of uh, a great little series of, uh, I think, uh, RPG parodies. It is published and developed by z -Boyd Games and they also made Cthulhu Saves the World. And they're also responsible for the latter two games in the Penny Arcade series. When uh, Penny Arcade actually figured out that making a smaller game with all the humor is more worth it than making a bigger game with a bigger budget and not really n having the audience for it. But this is Breath of Death 7. I'm not sure if it's uh, if it's the made before or after Cthulhu Saves the World, but I do believe that they're in similar genres. I have not played either of them, but I know just a little bit about them. I've seen uh, just the introduction a uh, well way way back, and I it it just looks hilarious. And here's what the game has to say about itself. Resurrect the classic era of RPGs with a retro parody RPG, Breath of Death 7, The Beginning. Join Dem the Skeleton Knight, Sarah the Ghost Historian, Lita the Vampire Techie, and Eric the Zombie Prince as they explore an undead world in search of the secrets of the past. Laugh, cry, laugh some more. And I'm all for it. So, let's see what the game has to offer. Begin a new game, an RPG adventure of legendary proportions awaits. Sounds good. Hmm, let's let's go for Oh, the, I got to say this order is a bit interest, interesting. Normal at the top, easy and then hard. Let's see, normal for the intrepid adventurer, not too hard, not too easy. Easy for the frail of body and in body and mind. Monsters are weaker, MP recovery is increased. For the ones who have walked into the darkness and returned, monsters are more powerful. Mana points recovery is reduced. And score attack. Earn points by defeating bosses while under under leveled. Score can be viewed on the status screen. Note only available after you've been in the game at least once. So I was planning on going for hard, but let's just go for normal this time, shall we? Welcome to Breath of Death 7, the beginning. As we begin our story, we find our silent protagonist in the den of a vile band of trolls. Let's look in on him, shall we? Dem the Skeleton Knight. What Dem lacks in verbosity, he more than makes up for in stoicism and rugged good looks. Yes, he really is a jolly good looking skeleton, he is. However, since you're going to be spending quite some time with them, it would be probably probably be for the best if I turn the thought subtitle matic Turn on the thought subtitle matic This band of trolls has terrorized the town in Pallet Villainous for the last time. They shall learn to fear the blade of Dem the Skeleton. Or maybe it should be like a skeletor voice. Yeah, he man, yeah! Now it's all up to you, brave game player. Do try your best not to get <laughs> get good old Dem killed at the first side of battle, would you? Would you like to see the controls? Yes. Ooh, gamepad. Let's go for gamepad then. System menu, move and navigate. Menu, cancel and run. Confirm, talk, search. So if you run into something, you cancel it out. Or is that the wrong way? To Confirm, talk, search. Yep. What strange device is this? All right, this is the PC version. If you don't have a controller, you can use the keyboard. Difficult default controls are confirm, enter, cancel, run, shift. Yeah, that's the controls right there. Of course, feel free to change the setting in the option menu. Yeah, I will get you soon enough, He-Man. Nameless Zero, greetings. I am the spirit of adventure. Let me tell you about character statics. No need, I'm a battle-hardened warrior after all. Strength determines the damage of your physical attack. Magic does the same for your magic attack. Agility determines who moves first in battle. Vitality determines your defense against physical attacks and will determine your defense against magical attack. And will determines the <laughs> your defense against magical attacks. Now that you know all about character statics, use that knowledge wisely. 
But I already knew all this. Save points. MP restored. Save your game. Yeah, sure. Slot A. Ah, and a nice little ding to it as well. Save successfully created. Don't forget that you can save at any time by selecting save on the main menu. We shall not forget it. Troll A. Hey, look at this beautiful little skeleton warrior. Does he seriously think he can take on our chief? Only a fool looks down upon an enemy before he has beaten them into submission. Yeah. <laughs> I bet this skeleton is so dumb that he doesn't realize that he can restore his MP and save the game just by stepping into that pillar of light in front of us. He can freely use his special techniques on us and then regain all his lost MP in the blink of an eye. Thanks for the tip. Let's dance. Monsters are normal strength, yeah. So, I have multi strike and death blow as my super special abilities. Death blow sounds good. 47. How much health do they actually have? Round 2 begins. Monster at Oh, they gain strength. That's no bueno. Uh. Oh, they have 50. That sucks. Two strikes. 30 damage. Stares blankly into space. I thought a multi-strike would actually be one for each, but apparently not. And let's just hit you. All enemies have been defeated! Them is now level 5. That was... Hmm... 20 times 3 or 50 times 1 for 8 and 4. Uh, yeah, let's go for Fireball. And we can restore our health and save our game. Ooh. I gotta get them shiny, see? Ah, this uh, joystick on the 360 is actually a little hard to navigate because I went the wrong way there and I blame the controller Dem approaches the troll chief a truly legendary exchange ensues what is an undead man a miserable little pile of secrets and bones enough talk how about you yeah build up your combo count with multi-hit techniques then finish off the enemy with a powerful combo boost ability like a death blow watch out for those abilities with combo break those abilities reset your combo count after using them. Monster at normal strength. Yeah, so let's go multi strike. Two hits. Combo two. And multi strike. And another multi strike because I have so much MP and HP so far. And his health is pretty high so far. Wonder if I could have. There we go. Target one enemy, combo boost, and break. Ah, yeah, let's just do it. Dem is now level 6. I am leveling up very fast. Let's go for strength and vitality. He's a, he's a knight, after all. And so, with the tall th uh, troll chief defeated, Dem heads back to tell the inhabitants of Paladinlenis of his success. Will Dem find a beautiful new companion join his, to join his adventure there? Press on, bold adventurer. Ah, oh, auto teleport. Nice. Welcome to the town on Pallad Linus. And it's inhabited by Casper's uh, all relative. Look, I'm staying now. Whatcha buying? I am buying nothing so far. Let's see if we can get another quest going instead. Are you a guard of some sort? Stand still. If you fight a lot of battles in a single area, enemies there will do their best to avoid you. Don't worry though, you can always initiate a battle on your own by selecting the fight command from the main menu. So, on, if you're not... If random encounters don't satisfy your fighting need, then you can just activate a random encounter. The more hits you make in a combo, the higher your combat count will rise and the more powerful combo boost skills will become. Watch out for the combo break skills, though. They reset the combo count to zero. Yes, combo breakers tend to do that. 
Your avatar looks nothing like your character. I've heard rumors of a fabulous treasure guarded by terrible monsters in a cave to the northwest. Many adventurers have sought to claim this treasure, but none have succeeded. Shall you be the first? What? No pot breaking? I am disappointed. Somehow, you know there's a treasure chest on the other side of this store. Too bad you're never getting it. Oh, that's a challenge. I am so getting that treasure. Some way, somehow. Welcome back, then. Will it be the usual? Actually, I know like something went a bit more kick. The usual it is. One chocolate milk coming up. Hey. Or should I say, sigh. Yay, I've been waiting for you to get back, baby hero. And here you are. I'm so excited. Where are my manners? I forgot to introduce myself. How embarrassing. I'm Sarah, the historian. I'm your... <laughs> I'm on a quest to explore the ancient ruins and uncover the secrets of the past, and you're just the bodyguard I need. So what do you say? Wait, what? So you'll do it. Wonderful. The first ruins I want to go visit are the, to the east. But, probably <laughs> but before we do that, we should probably talk to the townspeople for tips and explore the countryside and the fun profit. And that's got to be the most hyper girl I've ever seen. Oh, I'm, she's supposed to be hyper. Um, so how do we do hyper? I heard that. Did I, did I neglect to mention that I also knew how to mind reader? Well, I am, so don't go thinking about anything naughty. <laughs> oh, brother. Sarah has forcefully joined your party. Dem and Sarah gained the Unite Technique, Fire and Ice. Unite Techniques are special abilities that require two or more characters to use. As you progress through the story and gain more allies, more unique techniques will be made available to you. So, we're not only spoofing... Um, the Final Fantasy series. We're also spoofing a little bit of uh, Chrono Trigger, where they had the combo system where you could use different characters that will do special abilities together. Oh, let's see here. Yes, equipment. What do we have? Uh, we have a sword and we have a bronze shield. Let's see if we can't get something better. Uh, let's go for armor. What do we want? We want an iron sword. So, uh, oh, uh, iron sword and an armor. Magic or a vitality 40 will can be used in 140. Let's use the mirror one. I was just gonna say magic will, mempy plus. Now, the mystic staff was actually. Uh, uh, can be used by them, can be used by Sarah. Oh, it's the, can be used by them, can be used by... Ah, uh, right, right, right. So, we want to equip some stuff. Them should use the Iron Sword and the Mirror Shield. And Sarah should use the Staff and a Pretty Ring. Oh, she's one of those classic uh, Japanese RPG... Uh, equipment like the less she wears, the more armor she gets. Sell that thing and let's sell that thing. And what do we have? We have 70, and the Mystic Staff costs way more than that. So, yeah, let's go hunting for monsters. Where do we go hunting for Mars monsters? That seems like an inn. Yes, it was. Did it cost anything? Doesn't seem like it. So, there we go. What more can we explore? There's a house. Let's see what he or she has to say. Kazuma! A skilled mage once told me that the better you perform in combat, the more magic power you regain when you're victorious. Defeat the enemy quickly for maximum regeneration. Oh, that seems to be a skeleton. Maybe it's my brother. My long lost brother from another mother. Elmin. Almost Eminem. The town of love always lies in the east, yo. But to reach it, you have to pass through the graveyard of lost souls, yo. I think that's how Justin Bieber talks. Except with... Uh, let's, let's, let's do it. Let's give that guy a Justin Bieber voice. The town of love always lies to the east, yo. But to reach it, you have to pass through the graveyard of lost souls, yo. I'm straight swag. Sorry about that, that will never happen again. 
And so the skeleton Dem and the ghost Sarah teams up to embark on a fantastic adventure. They even hold hands. No, they don't. It's just... <laughs> they almost look like it. Will they discover the secrets of the past? Will they find true love? Will they find two more allies to join their quest? Most likely! Ah, stop using the joystick and start using the D-pad. And random encounters. I would have loved some background graphics here, but apparently not. So, do we have... Um, there we go. Unite. Fire and ice. The fishman attacks. And we hit them all for 19 damage. That's good enough. And they hit us for a whole bunch more. Whoop. Uh, oh, Sarah's gone. Did not mean for that to happen, but... Let's uh, pull a death blow on this guy. All enemies have been defeated. All al <laughs> allies regain full HP and 3 magic power. You gain 19 XP and 29 gold. Sarah leveled up even though she died. What does she want? She wants magic and will. And another one that I didn't even read where the stat points went. Where were we going again? Shot. Why don't you even talk to him? Because I'm a dead skeleton. Everyone knows that a true hero never speaks. His silence becomes his strength and his shield. Yeah. Plus, I have no tongue. How we do it? Um, status. We're on a quest, I hope. Um, I'm not sure where we're going. But uh, we managed to find a random encounter. So let's... Knock him down, shall we? Easy enough. Especially since we restore full health and full and um, some uh, magic power with each battle. Is this where we're going? Giant rat. Normal strength. Let's just. Eh, eh. I wonder why they don't uh, save the HP for the next battle. It might be that it's easier to just regain all the health when the when the fight is over, I think. But then why would they if if it's easier to program that way then why do you j regain just some of your magic power? So that couldn't be the reason anyway. Forget I mentioned it. Oh great. I wonder if there's any tombstones here. I have any tombstones writing on it. The monsters here are more dangerous than those near Pallad Lenish. Stay close to my side, eh? Oh, how romantic. My white knight is shining on my Are all women like this? You're a slug, lady. And the moment we step in the grass, we're gonna get a random encounter. Ooh, so close. Promotional tombstones provide the graveyard foundation. All rights are served. Alrighty then. So, where are we going? A crow approaches. And they're no match for us. Even if they were more powerful than the ones we met before. Let's go magic. a chasm or a trench we may never know it's just impassable right now anyways ah treasure and a random encounter three crows this time See, I'm even being strategical here. I'm dividing up the hits. And it didn't really matter because Dem was the only one that can actually hurt me. I'm just selecting now. Mystic Staff. Hey, you need that, don't you? 
Yeah. It's like double and better. Double and even better. Yeah, this could go on for a while. I mean, it's a... Even if it's a parody of RPG games, it's still an RPG game. So what we're gonna do is just walk around, trying to get quests, trying to survive all the random encounters, get some gear, try to fetch some items that someone somewhere wants. And eventually we'll... Save the entire entire human race or the undead race, which seems to be the case in point here. Nope, not to the right, to the left, and there we go. Does it go upstairs or downstairs? This looks like it might divide later on. Hmm. But yeah, this is Breath of Death 7. Very cheap game, so... If you're into RPGs and... Uh, like some humor with it... Then I guess I can recommend it. You should probably do your leveling up more thorough than I am, because I'm just clicking through the menus right now. But it's cute, it's 16-bit uh, gloriness. Very Final Fantasy inspired. Would kind of like to see the combat be from the side view instead of this uh, frontal view, which was part of uh, the first Final Fantasy. Not sure if it, they actually used this in the second one. But the first Final Fantasy game had this, this type of, uh, this type of view. Actually, let's let our death blow here. Research, game magic 50. Okay, and I'm dead. Well, Sarah's dead. Now she's revived. So it's uh, quite an easy game to, as you can just hit your way through it. So far. Pretty sure that will change some time. But yeah, that is Breath of Death 7, the beginning. So until next time, happy gaming. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Indie 500 Project. Today's experiment, Breath of Death 7, the beginning. Which is part of uh, a great little series of... Uh, I think uh, RPG parodies. It is published and developed by Z Boyd Games, and they also made Cthulhu Saves the World. And they're also responsible for the latter two games in the Penny Arcade series. When uh, Penny Arcade actually figured out that making a smaller game with all the humor is more worth it than making a bigger game with a bigger budget and not really n having the audience for it. But this is Breath of Death 7. I'm not sure if it's uh, if it's the made before or after Cthulhu Saves the World. But I do believe that they're in similar genres. I have not played either of them, but I know just a little bit about them. I've seen uh, just the introduction a uh, well way way back, and I it it just looks hilarious. And here's what the game has to say about itself. Resurrect the classic era of RPGs with a retro parody RPG, Breath of Death 7, the beginning. Join Dem the Skeleton Knight, Sarah the Ghost Historian, Lita the Vampire Techie, and Eric the Zombie Prince as they explore an undead world in search of the secrets of the past. Laugh, cry, laugh some more. And I'm all for it. So, let's see what the game has to offer. Begin a new game, an RPG adventure of legendary proportions awaits. Sounds good. Hmm, let's let's go for Oh, the, I got to say this order is a bit interest, interesting. Normal at the top, easy and then hard. Let's see, normal for the intrepid adventurer, not too hard, not too easy. 
easy for the frail of body and in body and mind. Monsters are weaker, MP recovery is increased. For the ones who have walked into the darkness and returned, monsters are more powerful. Mana points recover re is reduced. And score attack. Earn points by defeating bosses while under underleveled. Score can be viewed on the status screen. Note only available after you've been in the game at least once. So, I was planning on going for hard, but let's just go for normal this time, shall we? Welcome to Breath of Death 7, the beginning. As we begin our story, we find our silent protagonist in the den of a vile band of trolls. Let's look in on him, shall we? Dem the Skeleton Knight. What Dem lacks in uh, verbosity, he more than makes up for in stoicism and rugged good looks. Yes, he really is a jolly good looking skeleton, he is. However, since you're going to be spending quite some time with Dem, it would be probably, probably be for the best if 